Oh, look at that beautiful black roof. The build show today coming to you from my house under construction. That's right, this gorgeous black roof is under construction and we're gonna answer the question, is it dumb for me to put a black roof on my house in Texas? I actually have the experts from Sherwin-Williams and from Sheffield Metals. We're gonna talk about paint finishes, what to expect, what to specify, how long it'll last, chalk and fade, all those important questions when you think about a metal roof. Today's video is sponsored by Sherwin-Williams and Sheffield Metals. Let's get going. All right, guys, we're up on my roof and I've got with me Drew Waldrop from Sherwin-Williams Coil Coatings. That's the actual manufacturer of the paint that comes on the Sheffield metal panel. Now, Drew, I got a couple nerdy questions for you. And one of them that I hear from people all the time is, is black a dumb choice for the South or really anywhere in the US, knowing this roof is gonna be exposed to the sun a long time? What can we learn from you about this actual paint process and the technology that's gonna resist the sun? Yeah, no, so I, I can't say that black would be considered a, a bad choice for a metal roof. Uh, first of all, the color black's very on trend right now. Is it? You guys are um, selling a lot of black? Yeah, absolutely. This specific code is up uh, year over year since 2017, 20% uh, year over year. Dang. So very popular, very on trend right now, especially with what you have going on here with the black roof and the white exterior. Yeah, that yeah, kind we, of white, we're seeing black that. We're seeing look. that everywhere, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. But to go back to the durability and the fade characteristics of our paint, Again, this is a PVDF coating system. Our trade name is Floripon for that. This okay. is our flagship metal roofing uh, technology. Got it, so this is as good as there is out Absolutely, there. this has been formulated. Uh, it's over 50 years old now. We have exposure, um, a site in Southwest Florida, which is the most aggressive UV environment you can have. Yep. And we have panels on that fence that are over 50 years old with this technology on it right now that still Damn. have, that still maintain color. That's wild. Now, Fade is inevitable with every color, mm -hmm. especially when you're over the course of decades. Yep. But this color will stay very close to what we see here today. That's amazing. Now I'm hoping this roof will actually outlast me. We'll get maybe 50 years out of this roof. What do you tell people about this longevity and what this will look like in 50 years? Well, like I said, the paint coating will actually stay very close to the same color we see here today. Um, it's thick metal. We do all kind of physical testing in our labs um, to make sure it can withstand things like hail and moisture and different kind of corrosion um, inhibiting uh, characteristics and things like that. Yeah, I always tell my customers, better choose your paint well or the color well because you're not gonna touch this roof for decades and decades. And most of the time they get changed out because someone's remodeling or they don't like the color yeah. three owners down from now, not because the roof's failing or having any issues. Absolutely, that's what they say. They say, Whenever you pick the color for your floor pond metal roof, you better like it because it's gonna stay that way. Drew, help me to understand what that SRI means when I look at the data sheets on these roof panels. So SRI stands for Solar Reflectivity Index. Okay. So what that means is you have, you have uh, two numbers. SR, which is your solar reflective rating. That is a measurement of how much light is being reflected off your roof. Okay. Uh, thermal emissivity is how much heat is being absorbed and then um, cast away from your roof, essentially. Okay. There's a formula, the combination of both SR and thermal emissivity gives you your SRI index. Okay. And that is a number ranging anywhere from 25 for a black metal roof like this one, mm -hmm. all the way up to 100, which would be like a white. Ultra white roof, yep. let's say. So an ultra white roof might be, in theory, a better choice because it's gonna have more of that heat and those rays reflected away from the house in a hot climate. But you mentioned this black roof might still have a number in the 20s. What does Absolutely. that mean? Absolutely, there still is res solar reflectivity um, pigmentation in this roof. Now, while yes, black pigments absorb sunlight, everybody knows that, mm -hmm. you, there are still reflective and em emissivity characteristics that outperform your uh, your typical uh, shingle. Roof. How about that? That's cool, Asphalt man. Shingle. Good deal. Yep. Man, I appreciate you coming Absolutely, out and taking Matt, the time thank for you. me, Drew. Appreciate it. All right, guys, I'm here with Thad Barnett from the Metal Roofing Channel on YouTube. Now, Thad, how does your metal panels actually get to my roof? Yeah, I'm glad to be back for sure with you, Matt, today. So uh, with Sheffield Metals, the metal coil comes into our facility, gets slitted down, and then we send it to our customers who then roll form the panels just like this that we see here through a new tech machinery roll forming machine. So that's kind of how the panels get to your job site uh, through us. 
Got it. Now, how would you answer, Thad, that question that I posed to the Sherwin-William guy a minute ago, which was, what, what about fade? You know, is black dumb for the South? Yeah, you know, that's an interesting question because a lot of people are concerned, like, hey, is my color going to change over time? Is it going to fade with the UV? Well, if you really think about it, when that, that color is going to fade so gradually over time, you're never going to notice it unless you actually get the original paint sample and hold it up next to your roof. It's going to look like a great cohesive metal roof for decades to yeah. come. And you're not really going to notice that color change over time. That makes sense. So what I'm saying in the same spot 30 years from now, looking at my house, still going to look like a beautiful black metal roof. Absolutely. But if you were actually up there in the roof, with the original color chip, you might realize, oh yeah, we had some fade that happened. Yeah, when it comes to a black metal roof, you talked to Drew from Sherwin-Williams about SRI values already, but this assembly is not just going over straight to a deck. You have an air gap, a radiant barrier underneath that's helping some of that emissive properties of the paint and of the metal roof uh, dissipate that heat over time. So let's talk about that. What do you got going on in your roof? Yeah, so that on this roof, what I did was I actually have two different or maybe three different versions of an air gap underneath the roof. I did some one by fours on an angle on my steep roof. And then on my lower pitches, I used either the keen mat, which you see here, which is kind of a 3D mesh, yep. or I used the shark skin version of that, which is this dimple mat here, which got that roof up off the deck. Now it gives us a little bit of a, uh, kind of a thermal break from that roof. But the other thing I did was I put this radiant barrier, which is also made by shark skin, facing the air gap so that when the sun hits that metal roof, the radiant sun, the radiant energy from the sun is gonna hit this and it's gonna be basically reflected back off the roof. And that's yeah. gonna help my energy efficiency big time, even though I have a black roof. For sure, and in these Southern climates especially, that's always a great idea to think about when you've got a black color. Black is super in right now with the black and white farmhouse look. I know you guys talked about that as yep. well. So this kind of assembly really helps that SRI value and, and dissipate that heat over time. For sure. Now guys, if you wanna learn more about these options that we briefly mentioned, Thad and I made a great video over on his Metal Roof Channel video talking about the options and some of the nerdy details. So I'll put a link in the description for that. Hey guys, one last thought on this video. I wanted to make sure that I answered the question, is a black metal roof dumb for a house? You know, this is a, this is a tricky answer because you may be watching this in Minnesota or you may be watching this in Florida. In Minnesota, I would say that there's a very good case for dark roofs. There's really no issues whatsoever with dark. When you get to the south, however, if you watch my older roofing videos, you've seen me use a lot of light roofs. I put a white roof on a house in an old video. I'll put a link to that one. I put galvalume on my house, silver. Um, so I've used a lot of different colors. And in general, in the south, a more reflective roof that's a lighter color is a good idea. But for me, I wanted that white black look, that farmhouse look on my house. And I spent a lot of time and effort making sure that this black roof, which I really wanted, I thought it was a super great looking roof, would be mitigated in terms of its uh, heat load addition to the house. Such that if you watch my previous video, go check it out. Um, I use the radiant barrier underneath this roof. I've got an air gap underneath this roof. I've got four inches of uh, exterior insulation on top of my roof deck. And then I've got really thick rock wool in my attic. So in this case, the final answer for me was no, a black roof really ultimately didn't matter. I could have put any color on this roof or on this house, or I could really honestly put any roof on. But for me, the, ch the choice was clear. I definitely wanted metal and I really wanted this kind of farmhouse look. So I was really glad to have the Sherwin guys and the uh, Sheffield guys come out to the site and shoot that video with me. I gotta say the fade resistance, the warranty, the technology that goes into this paint. This roof's gonna be on here probably for my grandkids when they remodel someday. Uh, and it'll probably only get replaced because someone doesn't like the color at some point. I doubt it's gonna get replaced uh, for any other reason. Uh, metal in the south and the north, great product. Hail resistant, good for the environment, easy to recycle and recycled content to begin with. There's just so many reasons to do metal. Anyways, big thanks to those guys for sponsoring the video, and we'll see you next time on The Build Show.